I'm delighted to, introduce, to invite the Chancellor to confer the Honorary Doctorate of the University of Arts upon Dr. Sheridan Alam. This is not what you've been expecting or wanting, I'm sure. I mean, the last thing you want at this stage is yet another gray-haired, well, not gray-haired, gray-bearded person giving you a speech. But I have the mic, and you're stuck in your chairs. <laughs> I'll promise to make it painless. Uh, there are those fairy tales that tell you about what happens to artists, what happens to creative people, about how you will have fame, you will have fortune, that uh, the world will come to your feet. Pretty much, it's fairy tales. Now, that's the way it works. Uh, you won't get too many commissions. Some of your invoices will not get paid. Um, many will want you to work for free. So why go through the, all this pain? There is a reason. The powerful have money, they have muscle, they have another asset, the shameless. As you will have noticed in the last few days. Uh, and if your work is any good, if your work has meaning, then you will face the wrath of their power, or their ruthlessness, but what you will over need to overcome more, what will be a greater challenge and an obstacle, will be their indifference. And that indifference is not just by them, but by people around you, by your friends, by your family, who, who like you, but ra would rather you not try and indulge in those things. Uh, they are happy with their contented lives and don't really want you to rock it. But that is something that you will have to change. And you still need to do what you do. Why? Because you have something that they will never achieve. Your work, if it's any good, and then what's the point in doing it if it's not any good, will bring smile to people's faces, will bring tears to people's eyes, will haunt them in their sleep, will get under their skin. You have a power none of them do. And that is a power you must use well. Because at the end of the day, you have a means of overcoming that, but your greatest tool to overcome their wrath, their vengeance, their ruthlessness, is to ensure your work is so bloody good. And what's the point again of doing it if it's not? Your work has to be so bloody good that you cannot be ignored, that they cannot cast you aside. And that indifference is something that you can fight. But to do that, not only does your work need to be good, it needs to be good consistently, relentlessly. And there, I will leave you with that advice, because go forth, sing love songs. What else do you do? <clears throat> Your defense is to sing love songs, to love with abandon, to dance naked in the sun. So go forth and change the world. And I thank you all, I thank you, I thank you, and I thank the many people back home and across the world who were with me in those dark times. I love you all.
Thank you.